Hey everybody, I'm Bobby Dean and I'm making a series of videos for you that's all about grills and grilling where I'm going to be introducing some really great equipment to you, great recipes, uh, some things that you might not know. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm glad that you're with me. Today I have a special guest for my first recipe. Come on in, I'm bringing out the big guns right away. Somebody Hi knows, somebody that knows a thing or two about cooking, I'm on Paula Dean. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with you today. I'm happy you're And here. I love, love that you too fell in love with cooking. Mm. The grill, the grill's fabulous. Yeah, the grill's fantastic. I, I'm, a, uh, I'm a carnivore and I'm a guy, so I do like grills and I'm I do like- I'm a carnivore and I'm a girl. I got it from, directly from the tree. So somebody that knows a thing or two about cooking, my mom and I today are going to show you a great recipe for brisket. This is something that uh, I think probably a lot of people don't do at home. When it comes to barbecue, you got a thought? I sure do. I, I have cooked brisket maybe twice y'all and both times I was so disappointed. Mm. The wow. most wonderful brisket I've ever had, mm -hmm. uh, a cowboy out in Texas, I did a, a barbecue special, mm -hmm. and uh, this cowboy in San Antonio brought his chuck wagon in. He made his own charcoal out of wood, just keep feeding the fire, and he cooked it for like 10 hours. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited because I want to cook a brisket. Yeah, me too. Um, and I'm so interested to see how this brisket is going to turn out on your grill. Yeah, well. Um, because I ain't going to go start a fire and tend to it for hours to get my own charcoal. I'm not going to do it, y'all. See, I think, I think that this is why lots of people don't do um, briskets and ribs right. and roasts and things like that at home because um, maybe it's a little intimidating. Maybe, maybe you're afraid to mess it up. Well, I mean, you, you don't just wanna, don't have the time. That, and you don't want to. You don't want to mess it up, and you don't want to throw it out. Look, yeah, not not everybody can go to a cowboy who makes his own charcoal and, <laughs> and get the brisket. But, Listen, it was so good, y'all. I grabbed him and kissed him straight on the lips. I don't. Believe it that. was so good. I don't believe. It. <laughs> well, I did. I don't. Believe it. All right, so let's talk about the brisket a little bit. Uh, this is a beef brisket. Um, there are a couple of different cuts. This is what's called a first cut or a flat cut brisket. This is probably a uh, two and a half to three pound uh, piece of beef. And the brisket comes from the, ch the chest, the pectoral uh, part of the, the, the uh, animal, and it is a pretty tough cut of meat. So yes. that's why it's best to cook low and slow. Um, there are different ways to do it. You could boil it. Uh, you could broil it, you could uh, smoke it, which is what we're going to do, um, and that's about enough But for it now. still needs well, to be done for hours. It needs to be done for, for quite a bit of time so yes. that the collagen inside that meat can sort of break down and it can... Yes. And it can. So I'm going to show you a great way to do brisket. I've already introduced you to the pellet grill, which is... Um, it's a super piece that of equipment. That was so informative, Bobby. Oh, good. Uh, I love the video that he did. I mean, he broke the grill down and explained everything because I thought it might be difficult, and it wasn't. Well, it's pretty cool. Here's the deal. Everybody has seen these old drum-style smokers, uh -huh. uh, which people still use. That's what my daddy had. People still An do. An barrel he had cut in two. People still do. And they do work, but... Um, they're not, this is, the pellet grill is a, is a more modern uh, take on that. It's an easier, more precise way to cook. And uh, the equipment that I've bought is, we've already gone over it, but we'll go over it more uh, in, right. in the future. What it's it's the awesome. What are the pellets? What are the pellets? They're made from hardwood sawdust. So, and they're okay. flavored. Look here, I've got a friend, let me tell you this. I've got a friend who has one of the big drum style smokers and he tells me all the time, um, of his stories of having to go get the wood and it's big, it's cumbersome, yeah, you gotta have some yeah. place to store it, he can't yeah. always find it, it's a real pain. With the pellet grill, and plus too with the old drum style, you have to continue uh -huh. to stoke that fire, yeah. so you gotta watch the yeah. temperature on the grill, you gotta know yeah. when to go in there and add more wood to it. And, and yeah, it is, that's exactly it, it's a lot of guessing. And with a modern pellet grill, uh, it's electric and it's got an auger that feeds the uh, the pellets in for you and keeps it at a precise temperature. 
this is just going to make it so much easier. So if you're in the market for a pellet grill or any type of grill, I'm going to show you some really, really nice equipment. And yes, I got can, some questions. You got yes. do it. All right. Is, is the, the, the meat, the, the pellets are going to give the meat, the smoky flavor. Yes. And how long do those pellets last? Uh, well, the, the pellet grill that I've got, I told you when I introduced the pellet grill to you earlier and I had it delivered here, I was so excited about it <laughs> and I didn't even want to use it because it's so It's so pretty and shiny. <laughs> and it looks so great, but you got to break them in. So uh, we, we burned our pellet grill for an hour to get rid of any impurities from the factory. You saw mm -hmm. that. Uh, the brand that I've gone with is LifeSmart. After doing my um, investigation and due diligence on it, LifeSmart has, a, it checks all the boxes for me. Um, they've got a great product, the value is there, uh, the quality is there, it had everything that I wanted. And plus, LifeSmart has got mm -hmm. some other products that aren't grills, but they're cooking related, uh, that are just really on the up and come. So keep an eye on LifeSmart if you don't like Good. them. So I'll show you the grill more in detail a little bit later. Okay. But today you and I are gonna focus on the recipe uh -huh. because this brisket has got to, I mentioned that this is tough, so we're going to want to uh, make a rub for it, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a little liquid as well, and we're going to put this uh, brisket in the fridge for 24 hours. And I know that you've got a trip to take, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to Murden Beach Myrtle to Beach. Paula Dean's Family Kitchen, y'all. Mm -hmm. yep. I've got a book signed there Saturday. Is that tomorrow? Uh, yes, today's Friday, tomorrow. so tomorrow. <laughs> so if you're in Myrtle Beach, if it hits in time, you can maybe make it more close time tomorrow. <laughs> so anyhow, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to help me get this rub together okay. and the liquid, and we'll okay. get the brisket in the fridge, okay. and I will save it until you get back okay. and have you come over and yeah, we'll, and just we'll, we'll over eat it together so you can be my taste right. tester. Right? So I mix all these dry ingredients So we're going so to make a dry rub now. This is really, really... Um, subjective. Everybody's got their own dry rub. They like mm -hmm. their own seasonings and flavors. Th th these are malleable. So um, you can take what we do. You can add a little more. You can take a little away. Do whatever you like want. Like I said, you, you suit this. That's exactly right. Your tub. My mama's tub. <laughs> right, so we're going to start with, the, these are going to be some usual suspects. Brown sugar. A tablespoon of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, smoked paprika. I think it was a table. Table, table as well. Of smoke. We've got kosher salt. A teaspoon. Mm -hmm. We've got black pepper, fine ground black pepper. Yes. And I got, think that was a teaspoon too, y'all. And onion powder. Are you going to post this recipe? Yeah, or? we will. And you know what? I've got everything. Garlic powder. In the gar in the, no, that's yeah. onion, onion powder. So I've got... Oh, I um, thought it was garlic. I've got... If you wanted to use garlic powder, you could. Oh, you could well, add I little. can't do anything without garlic. Uh, well, <laughs> we're going to be all right. Okay. Um, so, uh, you helped me to lose my train of thought. I'm not going to say oh, maybe, I'm but so you helped sorry. me to. So, oh, no, I know what I was going to say. I've got. What were you going to say? Well, I've got everything mapped I out. I found some garlic powder. Yeah, imagine <laughs> I've got all the recipes kind of mapped out to know what I'm going to do for this mm -hmm. series that we're making right now. But I think that in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a way to contact me uh, and let me know some recipes that you might like to see done. Um, or if you have questions or things yeah. like that, you can kind of let me know, yeah, and, and sure. we'll just we'll see we'll yeah. see where this goes. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. Yeah. But you can for pick now, up your. All right. I so for, <laughs> for now, I want it to be fun <laughs> and informative. I want you to learn something, and I want you to uh, to get your your grilling skills up. So this is yes. a great time of year for this sort of thing. So uh, let me help you help and yourself. You know what? I hope there's a lot of women out there that are watching this because I've always been intimidated by the grill. Mm. I've always been intimidated. Not for long. I, I, I'm excited. We're show me, take show care me, of that. show me, show All right, me. So we've got our, our dry rub together, and that looks uh -huh. uh, just about exactly. Would you like for me to do the rubbing? Well, we're not there yet. Uh, we're okay. going we're gonna to take two uh, tablespoons of our dry rub. Did I oh, okay. Did I have a... Two tablespoons of our dry rub. Okay, down right. to dry we're gonna, that. We're going to add it right into uh, this little blender. Okay. Uh, I hear babies. Somebody's hungry. Somebody is hungry. I hear babies I waking exactly, up. I know exactly which one that is. That was Olivia Whitehead. <laughs> All right, so two tablespoons, and to that we are going to add a cup of chopped onion. So 
So this is, we're Georgia folks, this is a Vidalia onion, uh -huh. and uh, that's the way to go as far as I'm concerned. If you're using onions, that sweet, you sweet, use sweet yellow onion. A Vidalia. All right, and a couple things here that we're going to add. We're going to add a quarter cup. I thought you had added that already to the beer. So. Uh, no, I haven't. We're going to add a quarter cup of vinegar? cider vinegar. Okay, we're gonna add also a quarter cup of, uh, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> uh, not uh, long. <laughs> uh, Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. These are all things that you would expect with a tough cut of meat yeah. and, uh, and Texas style barbecue. So a quarter cup of um, Worcestershire sauce. And it's handy to have a liquid measuring cup. This is great. Yeah. As you can see, yeah. that's that's made to measure liquids. It's just awesome. Yes. Okay, and to that, um, wouldn't be complete without a beer. So we're gonna add a nice light beer to that. Ooh. As well. Just as is gonna make it, y'all. It just is gonna make it. That's a small <laughs> blender. We ain't in the restaurant. Well, I love I love these. These small ones, I just like for them. small jobs. I like them too. I've got a big one. I couldn't and, do without my big one. And I don't pull it out all that often. And so now that was two chipotle peppers, all right, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. two tablespoons. Now they're going to be hot. So. They're, they're not. They're smoky. Chipotle smoke, smoky. And that's adobo sauce that's in it. And two tablespoons. That's hot. Is it hot? And now two that. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm fixing to get the hiccups. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm going to have a crack in my... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. Oh, doo-doo. <laughs> Here, Bob. Mm. Put it in that, baby. I'm going to have to bust out the big one. Mm-hmm. How many times have I said that in my life? Look at somebody who's giving me the hiccups, y'all. <laughs> plenty. I hear, I hear that you said that plenty of times. <laughs> All right, clean that up. We'll grab the blender. Okay. Everybody, I'll, stand, I'll clean. stand by for. I'll uh, clean. I'll clean. Just pour it on the counter. You know, Probably. everything I have found over the years, y'all, that there's very few things fix. Most everything is fixed. I found that the only thing I can't fix is if I scorch something, because there is no getting that scorch taste out of. Uh, Beautiful pot of white beans. It just ain't gonna happen. Mm. Once again, I gotta pull out the big gun. <laughs> wow. Damn. Well, that was a uh, learning experience. I have a go. crack <laughs> in my small Cuisinart. We all have a crack somewhere, son. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we're back. All right, quick and easy cleanup. Uh, Y'all, what my son is doing, I, th that chipotle pepper was so hot. I've got the hiccups, and now my nose is running. So I don't want to touch my nose. I won't do it. You remember when Jamie, um... Oh my gosh, Jamie's done so many stupid things. Which stupid thing do you want to talk about? <laughs> when she was showing, I told him he was dealing with jalapenos. And I told him, son, now put on you some gloves, because that jalapeno will come back to haunt you. Well, he wouldn't do it. He said, I got this, I know what I'm doing. So he did it, and we and then had a break. He had to go to the bathroom. What is this? He, that's where I poured out that bowl to get you a bowl real quick, like it's a recipe. It's my rub. I know. It's right there for you to have. So anyway, Jamie came running out of the bathroom asking for a glass of milk. <laughs> he didn't listen to his mama. He touched his pee pee mm -mm. and mm -mm. set himself on fire. Okay. <laughs> so happy that you could stop by today, Mom, to help me with this recipe. Oh, listen, I'm thrilled. You go to some old family story. I'm thrilled to be here with you. You're so much fun to be with. Thanks, Mama. You got a, a wicked sense of humor, and I like that. I wonder where I got it from. I don't know. It's probably from your daddy. There aren't many secrets in this family, I can tell you that. Uh -huh. All right. 
So, you know what? This worked out better anyway. Yeah. So here we go, Mama. You were pushing the limit. I don't think oh, maybe you got a crack in. I think you had too much liquid. You think so? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so help me out here, Mama. Let's okay. put the brisket into okay. it. We got a two-gallon storage bag here. Yes. That's you know, you one. can't find these everywhere, and I love them. I found it. Because I buy... Uh, the brisket. How about All the brisket? Right. Let's take this out. Mm -hmm. Before we have another accident. Let's put the brisket in. I'm going to pour this over the brisket. Oh, yeah, oh okay, son. I'm not going to find that. Evidently several. All right, so the I'm, brisket. I've never claimed to be a fast learner, y'all. The brisket uh, in a two gallon. Uh -huh. um, I can say Ziploc. That Ziploc bag. It's going to burn your butt. It's going to be so good. So seal You're it gonna up. You're going to have to ask your stepfather over to eat. He's not a He loves that hot stuff. All right, what are we going to do with the rest of the rub? Well, I'm going to find a container to put it in for okay. now. Um, and I'm sure there's some air out of Well, I like the air being in it. Because it, okay. it but if Give you it some like room it, to move around? Mm -hmm. But if you like it without air, just a little that's less what I'll do. I like the space in my refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is your house. Is it nice and clean on the outside? Because you know I like the things to be clean. When Don't I even was say raising it. him, Don't even say it. he was not a clean freak. Now he's a clean freak. It's like having your own house to make you enjoy the cleanliness. <laughs> when, you right. have, when you have to pay for something yourself, it's a big difference. Damn right. All right, into the fridge. You okay. Gotta go, you gotta go to Myrtle Beach. I know. Find some space. Now get out of my fridge. 20, <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours. All right. So our two and a half to three pound brisket is in the refrigerator. We've made a dry rub. We've combined that with a liquid mixture. Uh, we'll post all these ingredients online so you'll be able to see them. And uh, into the fridge for 24 hours. So when you get back from Myrtle Beach, uh -huh. we will take this brisket out of the fridge. Yay. We'll fire up the pellet grill. I want you to come okay, over with me and see it. Because I'm not going to hardly be gone 24 hours. I want down. you to come see it in action and we will together eat brisket. And this I will can't be our wait to see how hot it is because my whole entire mouth is literally burning beautiful. It's burning the way I like it. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in Bye, to this portion <laughs> of the grilling videos. And I'll see you again. We're going to keep these coming real, real quick. So you're not going to have to wait long for them. I'll see you soon and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys. I love you. Love you too. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. See ya.